I never would have thought that a piece of fabric strung between two trees would provide such a valuable experience, but then again, I never expected to be stuck at home for months because of a virus. Before quarantine, I had attempted to slackline maybe three or four times in my entire life. I honestly didn't understand the interest in trying to balance on a wide string, especially when at first, every first step feels like a complete failure. It's really hard to stay motivated and keep trying. But in the current environment, most people are stuck at home with life revolving around a computer, every meeting, school assignment, and most types of work. In a way, the concise nature of this is convenient, but it also creates challenges. There are so many little things that keep us in order and routine. The walk between classes, the commute to work, actions that seem incredibly insignificant, yet when they're removed, there is an obvious impact on rhythm. When every aspect of your life suddenly becomes centered in one location, I found it hard to take breaks and step away. Yet somehow I've discovered a slack line to solve many of those challenges. In a way, it sounds ridiculous, but it also makes complete sense. The concentration it takes to balance makes it essentially impossible to think about anything else. Any random thought that crosses your mind can easily impact your focus and balance, so in this aspect, it is the perfect method to reset. If I take a break for a few minutes every hour and go outside in slackline, I find I return to my work much more attentive and productive. Balancing on a wobbly strip of webbing is not easy, but over time, even the small successes create an addicting and rewarding routine. Simply being able to walk across is just the very beginning of what's possible. There are endless variations that you can shape and expand, but attaining even the most minute achievements, like taking one more step than the previous attempt, leaves you satisfied. In a time of uncertainty in irregular schedules and lifestyles, a small amount of consistency is valuable. I just never thought a slackline would be the thing to create that stability.